The National Youth Orchestra received a hefty donation of musical instruments, which comes in handy to grow its repertoire. Today at the Bliss Center for the Performing Arts, Ambassador Lee In Ho of the Republic of Korea handed over a donation of stringed, brass, and woodwind instruments, a harp, a grand piano, a marimba, and percussion instruments, as well as a set of steel pan, all to the tune of 150,000 US dollars. Korea and Belize are close friends, and uh, we think that uh, the development cooperation is most important uh, between our two countries. Uh, and uh, um, uh, I heard that you have a uh, youth orchestra, uh, very well organized and uh, uh, very uh, useful in a Belgian society, so uh, decided to uh, donate a uh, musical instrument. Yeah. We have a, a COICA office in uh, El Salvador, and this office is in charge of uh, Belize also. And the uh, uh, COICA office uh, has contacted uh, uh, the government of Belize, and then uh, they started this procedure. It's something good for Belize because you know these are very expensive equipment, and to come up with 150,000 for such equipment is not an everyday thing. Uh, this is equipment will go to good use for the Belize orchestra, and I think um, it will do something good for us to get more people involved into the music industry in terms of the orchestra and playing these these musics and learning the equipment. The gift is the result of diplomatic efforts by the Governor General, Sir Calvin Young, and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And according to the music director of the National Institute of Culture and History, the donation is a treat that will enhance the orchestra and boost the music industry. Our kids for a long time have been interested in, in music, wanting to play, wanting to perform, but a lack of equipment have really been keeping them back. So now we have the tools. So this will allow the orchestra to expand? No? Uh, yes, that's what we want to do. This will allow us to expand. For a long time, we had to be working with instruments here and there and borrow from here, so we won't have to do that any longer. While there are several instruments for which Belize will need to seek training from international experts, one antique music equipment, a bassoon, which is valued at 18,000 US dollars, is part of the collection. Darren Flowers is the only musician that knows how to play the instrument, and he's even more excited about the opportunity to teach a colleague the art. With these, the donations of these instruments, we're really happy and excited because we have another bassoon now, and so then we can have another um, bassoon player. You know. You want to put your hands on the neck. Oh yes, I've already tried to touch them, you know, because <laughs> what excitement. <laughs> Dwayne Moody for News 5.